Hey everybody. So I had this idea for a directional motion blur, which could be kind of cool for like, I don't know, like making your effects look more filmographic or something. I don't know. Um, right now this is mostly just a proof of concept because you'll see there's like this weird bug um, with the device motion where the values go crazy and then flip around and it's like pretty bad on device. But anyway, I thought I'd share this just because like, I thought it was a cool technique and it's it's not like crazy complex either so if you're new to patch editor maybe this will help you like understand a couple of the basics um so first like blur directional um is like what's driving this it's in the project files but you can also if you need it for something else it's up on github um i'll link to this in the description um as always, uh, if you have a couple bucks, wouldn't mind you throwing them my way. Got 22 sponsors so far, which is pretty crazy. That's super nice. Um, I want to give a shout out to them. Um, yeah. So I'm going to kind of just start by disconnecting all this. Um, we will just we'll start with the blur directional. You can see what that's doing. So 10's like kind of a lot, so I'm going to take that back down. Um, so this is a pretty cool patch just in, in general, getting like directional blur. Um, you can change the direction. And this is like, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, it's like normalized values. So uh, yeah, like when you plot these on a graph, um, they would make a line in a certain direction. And that's how that works. So. Um, we need to determine how strong we want the effect to be. So we need to determine like how fast the device is rotating. And then we also need to figure out like what direction. Um, so like vertical or horizontal or like some diagonal. Uh, so to do that, I've talked about this in one of my other videos. It's um, motion vectors, which it's like kind of tricking Spark into giving you something that's not there out of the box. Um, so we need to, we don't just care about where the device is currently. We need to know where the device was in the past. And then like, you basically are drawing a line from the, the past to the present. Um, so we do this with the exponential smoothing. This patch can be found in the library. This button, it's already here um, in the project. So. We're going to take that value, and you can see um, these two values are slightly offset from one another. So we, we take the difference between those, and that's our um, direction. Um, so this is all the strength stuff, so I'm going to really ignore that for now. Um, I'm using swizzle here to kind of flip the order of the axes because when you rotate on the y-axis, it's actually, we want that to translate into horizontal movement. And then the same for the x-axis, we want that to be um, vertical movement. So we kind of just flip those around and then we can plug that right into the direction input. Um, maybe, I need to do this a different way. So that has strength. Oh, it doesn't like zeros. Yeah, okay. So you can kind of see the effect up to four. Yeah, so that's that's the basic idea. We haven't plugged in our strength yet, so it's always um this value. 50. Yeah, so but we we want to control the strength. So we're gonna get um pretty much we're just adding x and y together to get kind of a general sense of like how fast it's moving. Um and then you can multiply this value if you want it to be like stronger. Yeah, so there's there's like a weird bug with Spark and device motion. It does this like 
flipping with the values. Um, so you get like weird stuff like this. And it's, it's even worse on device. So this is just like a proof of concept. Like maybe they'll fix the bug soon and you'll be able to use this in your project. Or like maybe you can find a workaround to um, kind of trick it into doing the correct thing. Um, we can multiply this and make it like more extreme. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's that's it. Um, that's all there is to it. So I think it could be a pretty cool effect to just make your your effects like more uh, filmy, like they feel like they were shot on a professional camera. You know, when you get the motion blur in the um the like movies uh yeah but i mean that said don't go crazy with this just because there's that weird like flipping bug so i don't know if you make something with it um i'd be happy to uh share it i guess i don't know i'm just curious like show me what you make um if you can solve this like weird flipping issue i think a lot of people in the community would really like. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'll see you on the next one.